snaps they are it's a one-way snap uh, it's more of a secure snap so you want to put it on from the bottom push upwards and then it, it'll stay on there securely um, and then yeah just to remove it just undo your snaps you undo your zippers and then we can put it away in storage uh, you have a boot that the uh, that the doors will all uh, fold up into we can put them away securely in there All right, so this is your new Argo. Um, as far as the engine goes, here's your engine oil dipstick right there. Um, we have the washer fluid tank right here, and this tank right there is for your auto oiler for your chains. Um, of course, you've got an air filter underneath here. Your fuse panel is right, on, right in here, underneath that black cover. Um, this is your backup alarm for, your, for reversing. Uh, and really, there's not a whole lot that you really have to do, you know, you want to check your engine oil every periodically. Uh, I'd recommend doing it every time you go out. Um, and like I said, your washer fluid is here, your uh, auto oiler uh, oil loop is uh, this reservoir right there. Um, really, that's about all you really need to know underneath, your, underneath the, the hood of your Argo. There's not a, there's not a whole lot here. Um, we can go around, you got your winch right here. Uh, this is the free spool. So you can turn your lever towards the back and now it's, it'll free spool out. You wanna make sure that that's locked in uh, in the forward position at all times for your winch to be working. Okay, so starting in. You, do, you have your key right here. You wanna turn your key on. Now your uh, hood fan runs constantly. So you'll hear that fan running, and uh, uh, it's just they, they run constantly, constantly to evacuate any of the heat that's building up, building up in your engine compartment. Uh, with your controls here, we have your high and low uh, light switch right there, and then we have a run off button right there. You want to make sure that it's on run, and then we have your start button. Now to start this, you want to pull your uh, handbrake in, and then hit your start button. And away you go. I'll just turn that off uh, so we can hear. Um, with this, turn that off so we can kill that fan switch. Uh, now they will start in gear. That's why you do need to put you or you do need to hold your brake in when you when you are starting it. This is your high low switch. Uh, so it's for the transmission. They, uh, you do have a high and a low. Now you'll, you're gonna to wanna to be running it in high at all, not even five percent of the time. Uh, if you're in tight corners, that kind of uh, situation, you wanna switch it and switch it into low and you'll be able to turn a lot uh, tighter. As far as your switches goes, we have a horn switch, we have your bilge pump switch, we have your windshield wiper switch, uh, we, this is your auto oiler switch, and this is your winch switch, so just just simple rocker switches. You also have a USB charge port right there. You have two charge ports right there. Uh, and there again with your gauge, um, 
It, of course, it has your tack there. It has your warning lights along the side here. Uh, if you do have an issue with the temperature or oil pressure, you have warning lights there. Uh, then you also have your speedometer right there. Uh, just your little digital display right there. So we'll turn that back off again. So with your transmission, uh, you do have a you do have oil in there, and you, you have a little sight glass right down there. You want to make sure that it's three quarters way full at all times. Don't really have a lot of problem with any leaking or anything like that. So um, just check it periodically as well. You'll see that it is kind of amber, um, and that's just the color of the fluid. Now we have your batteries located right over on this side here. It's it's all uh, in behind your firewall. So if you ever need to charge or whatever, your battery's back in there, so. Here Argo, you do have two drain plugs, one on each side. Um, I always have, I usually leave them out, but uh, if you are going through any muskeg or, you know, or doing any swimming with it at all, you want to make sure that you have your, uh, have your drain plugs put back into the, into the body of your Argo. On the back here, we do have we have your trailer hitch and we have this bracket right here now this is for your rear rear winch uh, your winch will mount on here uh, and this is the electrical plug for your rear, for your rear winch uh, so you just you'll, you'll remove it from the front there's two pins that hold the winch on uh, pull that out put your winch back onto this bracket and plug your electrical in there uh, and it runs off the same switch that you have uh, on your dash just like the uh, just like for the front one you can run these down to two psi because you do have beadlock rims on there um, right now we're running them at, what, at three psi on all on all eight of them so if you want to lower them down a little bit you will have a little bit smoother of a ride and these tires can go down to two psi without uh, coming off the, without breaking the bead or having it come off the wheel so uh, so in this pouch right here, uh, it's all your paperwork. It's all your manuals for your winch, um, instructions on how to put the top on, and your whole Argo, uh, Argo package. Now the manual that you have for an Argo, it's all on the on uh, on the seat or DVD here. Uh, so you plug that in, and they'll go over pretty well everything on here as well. So, um, but all this will be uh, underneath the seat. You have your seat stored underneath here. Uh, so you got your tight, or you got your tow rope, and you have a snatch block there. And this will just be laying uh, in underneath there for uh, for when you get your Argo. So.